Welcome to another edition of Rangers Recap. Jake Howard here with a couple of youngsters on this squad. Tyler Flack, Davis Park, welcome to this show. And I got to start off with you, of course, being a North York Rangers pretty much throughout the entire career, at least the past four years. So what it was like to come up through the ranking and then finally get a shot with this club? Uh, you know, it's been good playing two years midget, played minor midget here too. Last year I got like 10, 12 games in probably. Yeah. So I knew what to expect from Schmogi. Just, yeah. yeah. And for you, coming into the system, pretty much working away, rookie season, you played a couple of games prior, but how would you explain your rookie season so far? Um, it's pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> it's a different learning curve for sure. I obviously played a couple of games here last year yeah. as an AP, and uh, just trying to get your confidence up is such a big thing in rookie year. And obviously I was out for a little bit with that injury, yeah. but starting to come back now and it's starting to feel a lot better with the boys here. Yeah, perfect timing. That's what it all comes down to. And for you, what was the biggest learning curve coming into this year compared to last year when you were just a call-up like Flack? Uh, probably just getting in the lineup every single night, just getting your speed up there. Like Flack said, confidence too. Everything just helps, whatever. Uh, as the season goes, like you learn too. So, Are there any like real veterans that took you under their wing, so to speak? Oh, all the vets on our team are great. They're, they're all just trying to encourage you, trying to get the best out of you. Uh, one for me, NJ, no Jordan for sure. Yeah. He's, he's, he's helped me a bunch this year, uh, especially with me being out. He's told me just keep going, pushing through it, and when you get back, work your hardest and try to get back in the lineup every night. So. And what about you? Yeah, like Flacker said, all the vets pretty much just like let the rookies know what they can do, how to better themselves, everything. A couple guys are probably like my stall mates maybe, like Will Hunter, Gottschuk. Yeah. Just, yeah. How would you explain Jeff Smoji's coaching style? Because like coming, sitting behind you guys most of the time, I hear a couple of things, so I got to ask the players. Um, he's tough on us for sure, but uh, he wants the best for us, obviously. He's trying to push every ounce of effort out of us, wants us to play as hard as we can, and uh, that's all you can really ask for as a player is, is your coach to want what's best for you and try to get the most effort out of you. So. And now think about this. Past former players in the NHL, who would compare best to your style of play and why? Uh, I'd like to say like Wayne Simmons, kind of. Oh yeah. He's a hard two-way player. Yeah. Likes to get physical. Like he gets offense if it's there. Yeah. Just yeah. Put the puck in the net every now and then. What about you? Um, I like Brandon Saad uh, from <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks. He he's a pretty he's a pretty fast guy. He likes to play with some speed. Um, he plays he plays the defensive end pretty well too, but he can also uh, chip in offensively by uh, grinding out there a little bit. So. For sure, two players I would never have thought. It's different because a lot of guys would on our show would just say Jonathan Taze, Drew Doughty, kind of things like that. Well, let's get to the chirping fest. So I'm going to start over here. Who's the worst person to bring to a bar? Worst? As a wingman. I'm going to go with Colby Muse <laughs> just because he's a goalie, and goalies are just weirdos. So. Seeing his routine over here in the corner, it's just goalie. You don't want to interrupt. So who would be the best guy to bring to a bar as a wingman? Oh, best guy. Yeah. Go-to guy, maybe a uh, maybe guy like uh, Will Hunter. I don't know. He seems like a pretty funny guy. He he helped you out a bit at the bar, so maybe him. True. Okay. So if you were stuck on an island for five days straight, or even let's say a month, who would be the one guy on this team you want to be stuck with? I I'd go with Reeser. I don't <laughs> I don't think that guy eats a lot, so I'd survive. I think I think I get all the food. All right, so who's the class clown on this team? Because we see here every now and then, like, Jed Alexander has a couple lines. The Hunters have a couple lines. Class clown, yeah. Jets, Jets are pretty, uh, pretty goofy guy. He's, he's pretty funny. Um, Clarky can be pretty goofy, too. Um, a bunch of guys on the team are actually pretty, pretty funny, but uh, those two guys probably. If you were going in the back alley and you were going to face the Hunter brothers in just a full-out brawl, <laughs> who would be the number one guy on this team that you wanted as your tag team partner? Uh, I'm gonna go with some size here. I'll get NJ. He's a pretty, pretty, pretty tick body. Who would be the best at karaoke? You think? Karaoke. Um, who's got a good voice here? It's a tough one. Um, who's maybe uh, Radisa? Maybe Raddy? I don't know. Sometimes I hear this guy on the on the mic, and uh, he's he's not bad. He's not bad. I got asked just. For instance, one time I was sitting outside your dressing room and I heard Shania Twain, Man, I Feel Like a Woman. Why is that one of the go-to songs on the team? Did someone like appoint that as a song? Yeah, that's our uh, designated win song. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a good song, very yeah. solid. 
And final question, who has the hardest shot on the team? On the team? Um, I got to say uh, either Nick Campoli or uh, Graydon Goschuk. Both those guys got rockets, and, uh, yeah, they, they can really shoot it. I forgot the two key questions. Sorry. Who's the best chirper on this team? Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> I'm going to go with Willie Hunt. <laughs> Standing beside him on the bench, just it's pretty jokes, some of the stuff he says. So, so I'm going to ask you the complete opposite. Who's the worst chirper on the bench? So when you like hear something from come out of his mouth, you just shake your head and say, where did that come from? Um, maybe Noah Robinson. <laughs> Noah Robinson's pretty brutal. Um, he likes chirping a lot, but sometimes, like I guess when you chirp that much, some of them aren't going to be very good, so probably Noah couple kicks that, that can well that's all the time we have for rangers radar jake howard with of course the two rookies tyler flack davis park we'll catch you guys next week right here 